Hey guys, welcome back to Paracord Planet. Today we're going to be making a trilobite bracelet. We've done varieties of this in the past, some fun themed ones. We'll put links to those in the description. But today we're just going to do the basic one. So if you've never made a trilobite bracelet before, this is the one to start on. For this bracelet, you're only going to need 15 feet of paracord. I've got 25 feet here. We sell it in 10 and 25 foot lengths. Um, so if you buy 25, go ahead and just cut 10 feet off right away, and you can save that for another bracelet later. You also need a buckle. I've got a half inch. And I'm also using this 24 inch bracelet jig. This is probably overkill for this project, but it's really nice because it has three different buckle attachments, along with a horizontal bar and a vertical bar. So you can make a lot of different projects without switching out your buckles. It speeds up the process a lot. So now I've cut my paracord down to 15 feet. Start by finding the middle of your cord, so line up the ends, and there's our middle. And then we're going to make a cow hitch or lark's head knot through the top buckle. So stick the, the fold through, and then the other two strands through that loop. Cutting down your paracord beforehand really helps because then you don't have as much cord to weave through each knot, and it'll go a lot faster. Next, we're going to come down to our other buckle and put both ends through that, that hole. So you want to kind of run the cord through your fingers so it doesn't get tangled up. You don't want your cords crossing over each other. Just run them both down through the top and take out all the slack. I'm making this bracelet at about eight and a half inches, but it, that'll differ depending on your wrist size. You want to add about an inch to the measurement of your wrist, just to make sure that the bracelet is going to fit. When you make the weave, the bracelet gets a lot thicker and the, the inner circle of the bracelet is going to end up a lot tighter. All right, so now with this end, we want to make two more cow hitches. So we can't do that quite the way that we did before because our other end of the cord is already attached to the other side of the bracelet. So what we do is bring up the cord through the middle side and then around to the outside again. Find your end, bring it up through the bottom this time. And then stick it down through that loop. And then tighten that. You want to make sure that this cord stays tight. Otherwise, your bracelet's going to end up longer than your jig is set to. So do the same thing on the other side, up through the middle, over the top, up through the bottom. And down through that loop again. And again, tighten it down, make sure that these two cords are tight. So I've got to do some adjusting. The use of a jig at all isn't even absolutely necessary, but it does speed up the process and you'll have a more even weave when you're done. All right, so the last step of our setup, I'm just going to bring each end back to the beginning and put it down through the top. Now we've got our four center strands here that we're going to be weaving across using these two outside strands. So starting with the right hand side, we're going to be going over the first cord, under that middle pair, and over the last cord, like that. You can pull that most of the way through, leave a little bit of slack because the other side is going to be going underneath the first cord, over the middle pair, and then underneath that last cord. But we want it to be underneath the last cord down here. So pull that through. And we're going to have this X pattern. So each one should enter the center strands on top and come out on the bottom, crossing over at the same spot in the middle. All right, so then we're just going to repeat that 
step over and over again. It's gonna be the same side going over each time. So just like we did the right side over on the first time, we're gonna do the same thing again. So over the first, under the middle pair, over the last. This one, it's gonna go under the left one, over the middle, and then down here, going under the last one. Again, that X pattern. Pull that tight. Right up against the first one. You wanna pull them fairly tight each time so that you can even weave. Um, but the gaps kind of will close up as you add more. So an easy way to kind of do this a little bit differently, I just grab the bite or a, a bend in the paracord and stick that through instead. So now we're going over on the right side, under on the left side. So I just do it with both hands, push it around that middle cord, and then pull all the rest through. And that goes a lot faster than doing them individually. But if you want to make sure you get it right, then you can just do it how I first showed you. So I'm just going to keep on doing that weave all the way down the bracelet, and then I'll show you how to finish the day at the end. If you're a little bit lost and couldn't see what I was doing with paracord, here's an image of the same thing but hand-drawn, just a little bit clearer. All right, so there we are done. These last couple weaves, it may help to have some fids on the end of your paracord. So I'll put a link to those in the description as well, but I was able to just slide the weave up enough to stick the end of the paracord through. Um, so go ahead and take it off your jig at this point. And all we have left to do is to cut the ends and melt them. If you're new to paracord crafting, this is usually the way to finish off a paracord bracelet. Paracord is made out of nylon, so it melts easy, and that way it won't fray. So clip them about a quarter inch from the edge of your bracelet, or maybe even a little less. Then take a lighter and melt the end for just a couple seconds. And then I use, like to use the middle part of the lighter to press it against the paracord bracelet. And that just makes a nice little wad of plastic that isn't going to pull through your knot. Same on the other side with the other cord. So there is our bracelet all done. A lot of people like the trilobite weave because it's nice and flat and also wide. It ends up being a lot more comfortable than a cobra weave and it makes a really good watch band. Um, but if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, and subscribe if you want to see more. We'll put links to the supplies used in this video down in the description and even hit the notification bell if you don't want to miss an update. Otherwise, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.